Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Uh, my name is Ivan Vega, and I'm a senior at Linwood High School. Um, I guess today I'm going to talk about a campaign that I recently participated in um, to kind of encourage other youth and, and students who keep following like CDC guidelines um, for the pandemic. So um, I'm in a uh, student advisory council with um, Superintendent Deborah Durado. Um, so we had a few of us, there's about 35 of us in the council. Um, so a few of us were selected to go participate in a LA County um, photo shoot where we kind of just went to Cal State LA and took some photos and videos that um, we shared online in social media and on the county's website to kind of encourage students to still follow CDC guidelines and wear their mask, especially since everything's starting to open up um, and everyone's starting to get vaccinated. It's so important to, you know, follow some some of the guidelines to protect ourselves and others. Now that the vaccine is available for ages 12 and up, what would you say to young people and families about why it's important to receive the vaccine, even if they're younger? Yeah, so I would definitely say to be open-minded about it and and keep in con into consideration those people who are around you, you know, your closest friends, your closest family members. Um, I'm fully vaccinated myself. So that, yeah, that was, that was such awesome. a good experience with me. I went with my grandma and my parents and it was just so fun. We feel so, um, so much happier and it just makes us feel safe. And it also makes us feel happy that we're protecting those around us and, and kind of slowing down the spread of COVID so we could come back to some type of normal normalcy. I think one of the biggest, um, you know, obstacles is mental health. And, and trying to find that stability within yourself. I think it's kind of hard to, you know, it's hard enough to go seek after a therapist, but it gets a little harder when um, it's not as accessible. So I think um, making kind of like services for mental health more accessible would be amazing. And also um, probably adding more um, staff and, and resources in college and career centers. I think that would be really helpful because a lot of students, you know, they get kind of, including me, we get kind of stuck and confused with the college process or what we're going to do after high school, after we get our diploma. Um, so I think those two areas, um, college and career and mental health are, are really crucial. I think the pandemic has really shown a lot of um, personal struggles that we all have, whether it's at home, outside of school or in school. Um, you know, a lot of us are kind of struggling to keep up with schoolwork and and with all of our classes and then dealing with the pandemic and, and our personal life, you know, making sure our families are safe and healthy. Um, so I think it kind of really showed that, especially with, um, since most of us are, you know, low incomes, we're in a low income community, um, you know, struggling to, to find the money to, to stay afloat and, and paying for the next rent. So I think it kind of showed how um, more about us outside of school and, and the little challenges we have, the little obstacles.